study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be shamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Now we're going to deal with a subject here that many Catholics don't read their Bible, don't study their Bible. Many Christians don't read and study their Bible. So what they're going to do is they take this subject of angels face value. And what a lot of people believe about angels, they believe wrong. They are dead wrong. And what we're going to do is, is a, a basic study from the Bible. The Bible. And we're going to see what the Holy Spirit has to say, never mind a church and never mind a person. And then people, well, you know, I don't like that. Well, that's tough. So first of all, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 2. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. So, if a being came walking in my house right now, and it had big wings, I would be made aware it was an angel. But since angels don't have wings, and there have been times in my life and I wonder if somebody has been put in my life, and I wonder... Were they an angel? Or were they just somebody to be somebody? So, first of all, you can you can come across angels, and I believe this with my heart, and you wouldn't even know they're an angel. But for many Christians who believe, and many Catholic people believe, where are these winged beings that they talk about? I don't know. Probably some dream somewhere. Revelation chapter 8. Revelation 8, 13. And I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven. Oh, see? Wow, did you see that car fly down the highway? That car flew down the road and it didn't have wings. Man, that, that student flew through their test. They didn't have wings. Just because it says flying doesn't mean it has wings. It could be a description. Alright, Daniel. We're going to look at a couple things here about angels. Daniel. If I can find it here. Daniel. Chapter 8, verse 16. And I heard a man's voice be between the banks of Utah, which called and said, Gabriel, make this man to understand the vision. 921. Notice we're doing the Bible. We're doing what God said. And yea, 921, while I was speaking in prayer, even the man Gabriel, the man Gabriel, has seen the vision beginning being caused to fly swiftly. Wow, he went quick. Didn't say angels had wings. He said he flew quickly. We use that expression today and not having wings. Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1, verse 19. And the angel answered and said to him, I am Gabriel, and stand in the presence of God. Okay. And 26. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel. Now, those are the only places Gabriel shows up by name. It calls him a man Gabriel. It calls him an angel, Gabriel. Never does the scripture call him an archangel. He's an angel, angel. 
First Thessalonians. Chapter 4, verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of God, that's not Donald Trump. Okay. Jude 9. Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, and does not bring against him a railing accusations, but said, The Lord rebuked thee. All right, Michael said to be an archangel. The only angel in the Bible to be called the archangel. Daniel chapter 10, verse 13. But the prince of the king of Persia withstood me one and twenty-one days. But lo, Michael, one of your chief princes, there's Michael, verse 21. But I will show you, I will show thee that which is noted in the scripture of truth, like I'm showing you the scripture of truth, and there is none that holdeth with me these things, but Michael your prince. Speaking to Daniel, a Jew, Hebrew. Okay. 12.1. That time Michael shall stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. Thy people is Israel. Michael seems to be an archangel, the prince of the children of Israel. Then he shows up in Revelation 12. You can pause. Look at the scriptures. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels. So it's not Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. It's Michael. And the dragon, and that dragon, verse 9, is the devil. Okay, so that's Michael. He's an archangel. Gabriel is an angel, a man angel. Gabriel's not called an archangel. So judges. Judges. Chapter 13. This is Samson's parents. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto the woman, Samson's mother, and said unto her, Behold, now thou art barren. Verse 6. And the woman came and told her husband, saying, A man of God came unto me. And his countenance was like the countenance of an angel of God. Okay. Verse 8. And Manoah, her husband, Samson's dad, a tree to the Lord and said, O oh Lord, let the man of God. Verse 9. And God hearkened in the voice of Manoah, and the angel of God came again. Verse 10. The woman made haste and ran, showed her husband, and said unto him, Behold, the man that has appeared unto me, that he came unto me the other day. And Manoah rose and went after his wife, came unto the man, and said unto him, Art thou the man that snake is with unto the woman? This angel is a male. He's not female, and he don't have wings. Genesis. It's so simple. We're not getting into a big theo theological study here. Genesis 18, 2. He looked up his eyes and three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran unto them to the tent door and bowed himself toward the ground. Okay. Verse 13. 
And the Lord said unto Abraham, one of those three men is God. You have God and two men. 16. The men, the men rose up from thence and looked towards Solomon. And the Lord said, those are the three men that showed up in verse 2. One is God and two are men. Okay? Simple study. Chapter 19. And there came two angels to Sodom at even. Those are the two men that were just with Abraham and with God. Verse 5. And they called unto Lot and said, Where are the men which came into thee this night? So have you got out of Genesis and out of the book of Judges? Angels come as men. And not women. And they don't have wings. And they look just like ordinary man or men. That's a big study. When the Catholics take to tradition, throw the tradition in the garbage and read and study your Bible. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be a workman that need not to be ashamed, rightly dividing in the word of truth. You will be made ashamed before God one day when you believe in winged angels that are females. Because that's not what the Word of God says. Now Luke, again. Luke, chapter 15, verse 10, I hope. Likewise I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repenteth. Do you know when a lost man gets saved, the angels of God in heaven break out in rejoicing. Now, let me give you a clue that happened. I know this for a fact. My wife died in September 2010. My daughter, her daughter, Rachel Ann, got saved a week after her mother, my wife, passed away. Lisa is, is in glory, and then one day the angels start speaking up and start shouting, Hallelujah, glory to God, over the Lamb's Book of Life. And Lisa would have walked over, and you know, what's going on? As Lisa would witness the angels rejoicing and her daughter's name getting written. Her daughter got saved. And Lisa witnessed that by the angels rejoice. The, the angels don't rejoice over ball games. The, the, the angels don't play baseball. This city of the angels here on the earth is uh, uh, devil's angels, not God's angels. Angels rejoice over a sinner that repented. Revelation. Chapter 1, verse 20. The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches. There seems to be over the seven church age period a star, an angel, that represents that church age. As such, it looks like the scripture. Michael, the archangel, is a re representative of the nation of Israel. Matthew. The Gospel of Matthew 18. Verse uh, 10. 16. Matthew 18. Right, Matthew 18 10 take heed that you despise not one of these little ones children for lo I say unto you that in heaven 
their angels do always behold the face of my Father which is in heaven. Now, there's where you get guardian angels. At least for children. And those guardian angels, according to Jesus, red lettered, are always in heaven. And before God. Always behold the face of my Father which is in heaven. Over children. And I'm going to leave that verse just like that. I'm not going to add nothing to it. I'm not going to take anything away from it. Matthew 18, 10. Seems to have children have a protective angel. In heaven. Before the Father. Now angels are called messengers. And that's not always the case. Exodus, hopefully, oh my writing. Exodus 33, 2, I will send an angel before thee. This angel has no message. He just goes on and before the children of Israel into the promised land. No message. Second Samuel. 24, verse 16. And when the angel stretched out his hand over Jerusalem to destroy it, this angel don't have a message. He's killing. So don't, don't always say that angels are messengers. No, 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 that's not the case. You're wrong. Tell your pastor, tell your Sunday school teacher, that's wrong. In the Greek, wrong. Second Kings. I had a pastor. I kept telling him he was wrong, and finally he he wanted me to go bye bye. I told him him and his Greek and his Sunday school teachers were foolish. Second Kings nineteen thirty five, and it came to pass that night that the angel of the Lord went out and smote the camp of the Syrians. A hundred, four score, five times. There's, a, there's an angel with no message. He's killing the enemies of God. It's not a message. Luke. Luke 22. This is a plain, simple message. There's nothing hard about what the Bible says. <clears throat> Luke 22, 43. Jesus in the garden. And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. He had no message for Jesus. He came and strengthened Jesus in the garden. It's not a messenger. He's a strengthener. Acts 12. Plain and simple. Nothing hard about this. Acts 12, 23. <clears throat> Immediately the angel Lord smote him. Because he gave not God the glory. That's no message there. Revelation. Revelation 8. <clears throat> Excuse me. 8 5. The angel took a censer and filled it with the fire of the altar and cast it to the earth. There were That's, there's no message there. Verse 7. The first angel sounded, and there was about and there follow hail, fire, and mingle with blood. There's no message there. There's no messenger. Verse 8. The second angel sounded as if it were a great mountain burning. There's no message. There's no messengers. Verse 10. And the third angel sounded and there fell a great star from heaven. That's not a message. That's not a messenger. Now, Let's take where the Roman Catholics do get it all messed up. They get it all messed up. Zechariah 5. Zechariah 5 9. And I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, there came two women. And the wind was in their wings. For they had wings like the wings of a stork. 
There's the Roman Catholic. But they're not called angels. They're called women. They got wings. <coughs> like a stork. They lifted up the ether between the earth and the heaven. Then said I to the angel that talked with me. Oh, there's an angel talking with Zeph Zechariah. Verse 9 are not angels. Whether do these bear the young ephah? He said to build a house in the land of Shinar. Babylon. Babylon. You know, mystery Babylon, the great whore. There's your women with wings. Only two of them. And they're going to Babylon. And there's an angel, verse 10, which is not the two women. There is, there is a study. That's simple. Nothing hard. Nothing no one can't handle. Scriptures you can look at. There it is. Angels don't have wings. They are not females. I gave it to you. That's a nutshell. 